What's up guys? So we all know that SSDs and hard drives are like day and night. SSDs are just so much faster and make your PC experience significantly better. However, a few years ago, NVMe SSDs were introduced and recently has been made available to people at a quite reasonable price. One of these new NVMe SSDs for the common person is the Samsung 960 EVO series, which provides people with insanely fast read and write times and a crazy fast Windows experience. However, even though the price of these NVMe SSDs have come down a lot, they're still quite a bit more expensive than traditional SSDs. So today, I'm going to be taking a look at the Samsung 960 EVO 250GB M.2 NVMe SSD and I hope you guys determine if the extra speed given by this SSD is worth the extra money. So starting off, this Samsung 960 EVO cost $130. You can install it into any motherboard that has an M.2 slot that supports NVMe storage. It really is easy to install. In fact, it's easier than installing a traditional SSD or hard drive. You simply plug in the M.2 itself into the M.2 port on your motherboard and tighten one screw. That's it, you're done. Then you can install Windows on it and any programs you want. It's as simple as that. So that's how you get your NVMe SSD up and running. But how does it perform? Well, on paper, the 960 EVO has the Samsung Polaris controller, Samsung VNAND 3-bit TLC NAND flash memory, 512 megabytes of LPDDR3 DRAM cache memory, a sequential read of 3200 megabytes per second, and a sequential write of 1900 megabytes per second. Random read is at 330,000 IOPS, and random write is at 300,000 IOPS. These are the advertised numbers, but now let's take a look at the real numbers. According to AS SSD benchmark, the sequential read is 2093.5 megabytes per second. The sequential write was 1027.6 megabytes per second. The 4K read was 30.75 megabytes per second, and the 4K write was 71.98 megabytes per second. The 4K-64 thread was 1496.04 megabytes per second. The 4K-64 thread write was 890.59 megabytes per second. Finally, the access time for reading was 0.071 milliseconds, and the access time for writing was 0.055 milliseconds. These numbers aren't exactly the advertised numbers, but you do have to keep in mind that the system was running off this SSD. Nonetheless, these numbers are still blazing fast. Next, let's take a look at some daily use applications and see how this affects daily use. A WinRAR extraction of a 50GB archive file took 872 seconds or 9 minutes and 32 seconds, which is an insane number. During that time period, the average transfer speed was 56 megabytes per second. Next, we have the boot test. Windows 10 booted up in just 7 seconds, even though I wasn't booting on a ins clean install of Windows. Next, After Effects took 19 seconds to load up, Premiere Pro took 9 seconds, and Photoshop took 11 seconds. As it is evident, this drive performs well and makes Windows as a whole snappier and just much smoother. Overall, performance from this SSD is absolutely stunning and it does justify its price point of $130. As a result, the drive definitely delivers as asking price because it has strong performance and really blows away any SSD or hard drive on the market in raw horsepower. It's easy to install and there are no cables to worry about. This drive is actually on the more expensive side of NVMe SSDs that are made by other big companies like Western Digital's 250GB M.2 which cost $110. But at the same time, you guys don't get the same level of performance from those M.2s. However, at the end of the day, the real question isn't if the drive's price is justified. The question is, is the extra performance this drive provides compared to cheaper drives worth it? And unfortunately, like my answer to all premium products, unfortunately not. It is not worth spending around 
50 plus dollars more than many very good SATA SSDs like the Samsung 850 EVO, which is the king of SATA SSDs. The extra read speed, write speed, ease of installation, and possibly a better Windows experience are not really worth spending that much more. With that money, you guys could maybe upgrade in GPU level, or get more storage for your SSD or hard drive, or even buy more games or upgrade your CPU. Overall, the minimal performance increase that this provides is not worth spending that much more money. If you guys are building a premium build and only want the best parts available, then this is a great buy. And at the level of quality that you guys expect from an NVMe SSD priced in this range. This does perform really well. However, if you guys are considering this SSD because you guys hope that it'll half your loading times and reduce your wait times by a mind boggling number, then that's really not going to happen. So you guys should just save your money and buy something that will actually improve performance by a lot, like a GPU upgrade. Overall, this drive enters a range of diminishing returns and I would recommend that you guys spend your money on other parts that give more performance before considering this drive. If you guys already have a premium build and just want to know how this drive is, then this drive is absolutely awesome. It has a great performance and really is top of the line product. If that's what you guys want, then you guys should definitely buy this. But otherwise, you guys should just save your money and buy something that will make a much bigger difference. A crucial MX300 or Samsung A50 EVO will provide everyone with almost the same performance, no matter if you're a power user or just a casual gamer. This SSD is really only going to make a slim performance upgrade and it's very marginal. However, it is a nice SSD to have and does save you guys a couple of seconds here or there. As a result, if you guys have the budget for this SSD, then you guys should might as well get it. Otherwise, you guys should just get as SSD and you guys will probably be just as happy and a bit wealthier as well. Now, all of you guys who think you guys can squeeze all the performance out of this drive, you guys I guess should get it. But if you're that type of user, you guys should actually consider the Samsung 960 Pro because that, at that point, price really wouldn't be an issue and you guys just want the best. And the extra warranty and MLC NAND memory is so much better on the 960 Pro, so you guys should consider that. Well guys, if you guys are interested in what comes inside this box, make sure to check out my unboxing of this SSD in the link in the description below. But that's all I have for you, you guys on this video. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a like. If you guys loved it and would like to see more videos just like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell notification. But that's all I have for you guys now. Until the next video, bye.